Hey guys, it's Archie Luxury. Archie Luxury from the Archie Luxury channel, the Paul Pluter channel, and Archie Luxury Corporate. Guys, keep watching, keep watching. I need the viewers. I need the viewers, I need the subs, I need it. Like, subscribe, and tell your friends. Tell your friends, whether you like them or hate them. Just tell them anyhow. Archie Luxury on YouTube. Hey guys, it's Archie Luxury on the Archie Luxury and the Paul Pluto channel. Quick wristwatch check. I'm wearing Patek 5196. Guys, today I went and visited my Patek Philippe 5127 that Vintage Watch Co. is selling. I just wanted to see it in the store, you know, just uh, actually just as I went there today, they were photographing it for their website. So I'll put a link down below. It's on their website and it's available for sale. So, hey, that is great news. And I got to tell you something. In this COVID time, when it's hard to travel and do things, it makes you wonder what would you like to do with what would you like to do with you know selling something and and sometimes it's better to go through a dealer there is a great video i'm going to put a link i don't know if it's that corner or that corner there's a little question mark click on that and that's from my good friend uptick watch reviews uptick watch reviews he's the french guy in hong kong and he just got an absolute, he's got an absolute horror story. He list, he was selling two watches, a Jager Le Coultre rose gold. Um, it's sort of like a, a, a world time. And a Milgauss. And what happened was he got scammed. He got scammed. And... Interestingly enough, he got the watches back, however, however, he had to, uh, it, it's, it's a bit of a tricky thing in Hong Kong, he got his money back, but he had to pay money to the stores that basically somebody had defrauded him, and they immediately sold it to some watch dealers. So he had to pay some money. He offered half of what they basically paid, which I, I would have thought he would have been entitled to get the watches without having to pay anything. He, these watches were stolen from him, stolen goods. Um, I, I would have thought he would have just... Um, in, in, in Australia, the laws are a bit different, but uh, I, I um, but anyhow, it's a very cautionary tale. He got scammed. This is an interesting scam. What happened is the money was, um, I think he used a HSBC account. The money was, tr it appeared like the money was in his, he didn't have a HSB account, his wife did. So they put the money into his wife's account and then they, they said, oh, I'll take the watches. But what had happened is, all they'd done is they had put a fake or a worthless check into the account, which actually was worthless. And uh, yeah, the transaction was reversed the next day. So it, it was a very, very... Um, upsetting scam. I, I, I completely completely understand the uh, the situation there and I I think it's um, just shows you've got to be so careful so careful so um, I gotta tell you I want to get out of the paddock why do I want to get out why why well I've, I've, I've got five beautiful paddocks I want to sell the six which is the six is an exact same reference 5127 I want to sell the double up get out of it and I want to buy a steel sports Rolex that's right I want to have a steel sports Rolex and it's a big ticket item I've actually had two offers to sell it but I'm very fearful of shipping it I 
I'm only a poor man from a poor family, so I don't really take $20,000 plus risks. I make sure that I get cash and I deliver in person. I am too old and um, too old and too can't be bothered just dealing with disasters. So um, normally when I've sold things, I ask for a deposit <clears throat> enough to cover my, my ticket because I do love travel. And so I'll ask for a substantial deposit. Uh, on a twenty thousand, on a watch like this here, I would say I, I'd, I'd really want two or three thousand dollars. Five thousand would would be be minimum. Then I'll jump on a plane, <clears throat> and you pay me the rest, and you get the watch. I want Charlie Nash cash. And if you try and lowball me, I'll say okay, that's fine. Let me forget the deal. I'll keep the watch. And I'll give you the money back once I get back to my country and I've taken off my airfare and accommodation and taxi costs. So I that's that's the way I kinda I kind of roll there. But I I've gotta tell you, all the watches I've sold there, I haven't had too many problems. It's 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 been okay, but there are scammers around there. You know, it's it's kinda yeah. Scammers, and I gotta be honest with you, I quite like Uptick Watch Reviews. He's a, the French guy, really nice mannered guy. Ah, oh, what he still had to pay money to. I just can't believe this is just so awful. And it's 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 a scam. He got scammed, and terrible, terrible, terrible news there. I, I think it was awful, but um, anyhow, I, that's why I'm selling through the dealer. So let, let's take a look. I got a bit nervous. So I thought, oh, I want to go and visit my watch. I was missing it. I'm, I'm a very control freak. Control freak. So I, um, I, I went and visited my paddock. Let's go and have a look, guys. Oh, and check out the link. Click the link and see the story from my good friend, from uh, Uptick Watch Reviews. Okay guys, enjoy. Hey guys, it's Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury Channel. I'm in the city. I just can't handle it guys. I gave Ronnie my watch to sell. You know, my paddock, the 5127. I just wanna make sure it's okay. And uh, I've got the outer box for it. I forgot, I forgot to give him the outer box. So I thought, hey, I'll just come and have a hell say hello to the 5127G, make sure it's okay, make sure she's she's okay, she, make sure he's being looking looking after her. So um, this is just going into Vintage Watch Co. I'll go and see my friend Ronnie, and uh, I gotta say, that's the way to go, guys. So guys, just in Brisbane City here, and uh, I'm just going to get, just going to have a look here. I want to see my paddock. I just want to make sure it's okay. It's for sale. My 5127. I normally don't give it to dealers. The only dealer I would trust is Ronnie. Ronnie and uh, Luxuria and Shani. Shani, um, the watch gallery in Melbourne, in Collins Street. That's the only dealers I would really trust. So um, let's go in and have a sticky beak. I hope it's, let's have a look here. You know, he wanted the box. He wanted the box. I thought I'd bring it in, see what's happening, and uh, it's all good. It's all good. So let's have a sticky beak. We wanted to have a sticky beak. This is my, it's my baby. I know it was the sixth, sixth Patek, but it's still my baby. You know, it meant a lot to me this watch it was a expensive watch expensive and they were just had it out of the window to photograph there we go guys look at that that's my paddock prime position in the retail sphere look at that it's all there it's living nicely it's having a a good bit of fun that's my paddock philly there we go that's the box look at that beautiful there we go guys, I just checked, it's safe, it's safe, it's safe. They were just taking it out for photographing today. They were giving it a, a photograph, photo shoot. 
He's doing a bit of a photo shoot today. So um, that's all cool. We like to we like to have a bit of a photo shoot. So uh, yeah, that's the the way it goes, guys. That's the way it goes. So uh, it's on the website. Hey guys, Archie Luxury. Who do I recommend for watches in Brisbane and Sydney? Vintage Watch Co. That's correct. Vintage Watch Co. in Brisbane Arcade in Brisbane and the Strand Arcade in Sydney. Vintage Watch Co. Brisbane and Sydney. Ronnie, I've known him since the late 90s. Ronnie is a top bloke. Luke is a great guy. Vintage Watch Co. That is who I recommend in Australia. Check out Vintage Watch Co. and the guys' amazing range of watches. They also do service and repairs. Vintage Watch Co. That is where the pontiff goes. You know, some of my paddocks came from Vintage Watch Co. That's right, guys. Vintage Watch Co. Hi guys, Archie Luxury, and who do I recommend in America? In America, who do I recommend for quality pre-owned wristwatches? David SW, David SW, David SW. Go to davidsw.com. He is the best, the greatest pre-owned dealer in all of the United States of America. David SW, David SW, David SW.